Canadian government's getting out of the marijuana business. Canada's health minister announced changes to medicinal marijuana access. They're aimed at reducing crime, but many people think it will do the exact opposite. He's one of 26,000 Canadians with a license to grow medical marijuana, starting to feel anxious again since the Canadian government announced the system's about to change. Soon there will be no more medical marijuana produced and distributed by the government, and no more growing regulated marijuana from home. Jason Wilcox has been organizing the coalition against the repeal of the medical marijuana access regulations, particularly the personal production licenses and designated production licenses. I believe in patient options. You should be able to go and have somebody grow it for you if they have a place in the room and the ability, or order it from a pharmacy or a big business, whatever you want to call it, however the program is modeled. You should also have the right fundamentally, especially if it's to put in your own body, just like when you smoke it, you should have the right to grow it. Health Canada will, if successful, only license large-scale commercial operators who produce our medicine at up to four times the current cost. Government is simply hijacking and cornering the market, my friends. The issue is getting up to 26,222 legal growers, try and get as many of them as possible to understand and unite and get on this file so that we can actually be prepared. So when Health Canada chooses to make their move, we're all prepared to take it on, take it on. A federal judge has approved an injunction allowing current licensed medical marijuana users to continue growing their own pot past April 1st. A court in British Columbia ruled users can continue growing their own pot for now. This decision comes less than two weeks before new laws for medical pot take effect in Canada. This is huge news. You know, and then so many patients right now, they're not suffering tonight. Tonight they're going to get to sleep. It's very hard for me not to get angry and frustrated as I think about the 500 plus impact statements of, right, of people paranoid and not just paranoid, God-given fear of going back on the pharmaceuticals because of what the government's doing now to medical patients. It's unconstitutional, it's not Canadian, it's unethical, and it's not right. My doctor, he wouldn't take my MRIs, he wouldn't send my MMRR form. And through other things, like I was really, really having a tough time, but it seems that that one major stressor, um, removing that, that threat of losing my guard and by the government, even having the threat of armed guards coming into my home to, to make sure that it's that it shut down really, really hurt me and, and, and hindered my healing. And that was the beginning. I'm aware of people who buy, who don't have uh, a medicinal license who buy their marijuana from medicinal growers. I would use the analogy though too that we look at how many drunk drivers and people on pills right now are going out driving drunk and killing people. We police the drunk drivers. We don't throw all the cars off the road and that's what they were trying to do with the patients and I'm glad that justice stepped in and interfered and allowed the Constitution to have a chance to put the MMPR under constitutional scrutiny. Right. I just really hope that we all get what I think we deserve which is freedom. And that's what this is all about. The coalition of what's going on, these are people that are willing to stand up to the government with their endless amounts of money in pockets. And, you know, do what we can, hit the streets, hit the roads, canvas, talk to people, you know, just go out there and promote to one person at a time, change perception and views by, you know what I mean, articulating truth. And, you know, I, I'm proud to be a part of that movement. Now, we're at $180,000 raised. What are we looking at over and above the quarter million that, that we originally set out? I'd have to estimate high. I'd have to say, look, let's shoot for a million bucks because who knows? You've seen the attitude of the federal government. Um, they recently are putting ads on, uh, paid for by the taxpayers about the dangers of cannabis. It's just another herb. That it's going to be a lot going on and in the next year. It's our one big historical chance. Either we make it happen or we don't. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. If you have a, uh, a belief in ensuring that people's rights should be taken care of, you should be donating.
it's uh, it's for the people. You know, it's we the people who want this, and uh, you know, it's coming. People needed access to these products because it helped prolong and, and help you know, save a lot of suffering. This is going to end. We're past the point of whether we will or will not win our gardens. We will. So yeah, you licensed producers, you better be worried. I'm not going anywhere. This is far from over. I'm pretty confident that you're going to win. I, I, I mean, you can't guarantee it, but I feel like that's going to be a preserved thing, the, the right to grow your own cannabis for medical purposes, as it should be. I think that we got a super strong case. I'm really looking forward to what John can do in the court, and I hope it's heard fairly and with an open mind. I hope we legalize, but again, I hope we legalize with gardens so that there isn't this fight that I worry about between the underground, these growers that exist, and I know them. You know, the BC economy is almost run by these growers, you know. If that starts a gas war, then security's gonna go up because the gangs get involved, or real organized crime gets involved. I say, why well, doesn't the top down first recognize it as medicine, take it out of the CDSA, classify it as a safe and harmless herb it is, and call it, put it into herbology, or put it back into pharmacopoeia and let the doctors prescribe it the way it should be, and look after the damn patients. At the end of the day, it's about the patients.